Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Ooh, this is going to make Trump mad. Someone else making money off Trump. Um, Jack Smith's swag is getting super hot. Uh-oh. Mug stickers, T-shirts. The uh, Smith goes to Washington. Someone's going to get jacked up. Mugs. Jackhammer Smith. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, don't, I am feeling actually very... Uh, I don't know, what's the word? I guess optimistic that justice, karma, whatever you want to call it, is finally catching up with Trump. Are you? Oh, 100%. I think Jack Smith is the man. Like, that guy's not playing around. As you know, I just got back from Amsterdam. You know, The Hague is just down the road, Den Haag and stuff. And, like, you know, that guy's he's used to war crimes. He's used to serious stuff. And I think it's very telling that Trump didn't look at him when they were in court together. Mm Mm-hmm. Because you said he's a coward. He wouldn't. Jack Smith stared him down the entire time and he would not even look. Oh, my God. By the way, I heard another Jack Smith fun fact. Did you hear this this weekend? That he was hit by a truck on his bike. I'm a cyclist. He was hit by a truck and he was up doing a triathlon again like, I don't know, like six weeks later. Oh, my God. Or something. He's badass, right? Total badass. I mean, I'm a cyclist, too. I've been hit several times and you don't usually get up that. Even if you don't get hurt, you get shot unperturbable he's the he's the exact man for the moment and i think that's a great thing by the way can i just say as a cyclist my cycling club is uh, major taylor out here in los angeles who's the first mm-hmm. african-american cycling champion and he is now uh he, he is one step closer to getting a posthumous honor they're um looking to give him the congressional gold medal yes so please th- let's get this done they're going to introduce the bill in the u.s house of representatives to make uh major the major taylor uh congressional gold medal act um, it's, this will be like 91 years after his death, but one of the sponsors says we stand on the shoulders of giants. Marshal uh, Walter Major Taylor was such a giant. He faced down the relentless specter of racial discrimination, both on and off the racetrack. His courage, not just in the realm of sports, but in the greater race of life, set the stage for the victories of the civil rights movement. Yeah. And on Juneteenth, what better time? That's right. Let's get this done. It's my club. It's my peeps. They call me baby got no back. That's my cycling name. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag skinny white girl. Uh, okay. okay. All right. Um, we were talking earlier, Joel, real qu- or, uh, Noel, real quick about um, Trump, not another lawyer quitting. He can't get lawyers. Like, so I love this. He shared seven posts in a row from this weekend from the guy he listened to instead of lawyers. What's his name? Tom Fitton? Yep. Yeah. He shared seven posts again. That I, I guess we have to be glad that he's such an idiot and that he just keeps listening to the wrong, right? Not lawyers. He, um, retweeted or whatever trump indictments an attack on the rule of law donald trump is a crime victim he just kept retruthing this guy that helped get him in this situation right because that's his ego trump is a damaged psyche and he needs constant like you know constant like reassurance that he's okay so anybody singing his praises can manipulate him and that works the same way if people are giving him dumb advice as long as it flatters him and appeals to his sense of resentment and aggrievement he will push that information on and that's exactly what a a good lawyer doesn't want right you want a client who's going to defer to you and say hey keep your mouth shut i have your best interest at heart Trump doesn't trust anybody fundamentally as a human being. He doesn't have any real relationships with anybody, kids, wives, family members. It's all about him. He's a perfect example of like, you know, he's almost like the anti Hamlet, you know, because he's not a complex guy, but he's raging at the winds. There you go. Uh, 